A team of doctors used a series of complex rare surgeries to save a 28-year-old Kanab woman's life. The three surgeries have never been performed together in Utah and are even more rare around the world. Richard Pyatt is live at Intermountain Medical Center to tell us more. Richard. Well, Bruce and Dini, the thing about this whole procedure is that even five years ago, these surgeries probably wouldn't have been possible. The techniques were just being developed. So technology, as well as skilled doctors, make this rare surgery a success story. 28-year-old Vera Davis is on the road to full recovery less than a month after three serious surgeries. That cone-shaped vessel at the top of this animation was the problem. It's an aortic aneurysm, a bulge in the artery that can burst and quickly turn fatal. It was complicated by a rare disorder called Turner syndrome Vera has. Vera felt chest pain and had it checked out, finding she had this serious condition. I was scared before I had the surgery because I didn't know anything about it, and I knew heart surgery is a major thing. This team of three skilled doctors at IMC consulted for about a week about how to tackle Vera's case. Now, this is not about one doctor being really smart. This is about a bunch of people with separate skills coming together and figuring out what's right for a patient. And the surgeons first performed bypasses to create a new path for blood to flow. Surgery two involved placing an endovascular stent graft inside the aneurysm to seal it off. The stent graft acts like a tunnel where blood can flow and also seals the artery. Then doctors inserted a series of coils into the artery to further seal the aneurysm. Together, skill and technology have saved Vera's life in what doctors say is a groundbreaking way. No one had experience with this. No one could, could tell us that, uh, you know, patients with Turner syndrome, this is what you can expect when you operate on the arteries. At least the first time it's ever been done in this country, we think perhaps in the world, this is innovative technology. I just said the doctors will do the best they can and whatever happens, happens. And I'm very thankful for it. Well, as you saw there, Vera is nearly back to normal after just a few weeks. She's now ready to start looking for a job as an elementary school teacher. Back to you. Wish her the best. That's amazing. Thanks, Richard. Doctors at Intermountain Medical Center saved a woman's life in a series of surgeries that are seldom performed. How rare are they? How about the first time ever in Utah? What we were able to do for Vera is at least the first time it's ever been done in this country, we think perhaps in the world. Doctors at IMC are calling Vera Davis's recovery a medical miracle that could not have happened just five years ago. No one had experience with this. No one could, could tell us that, uh, you know, patients with Turner syndrome, this is what you can expect when you operate on the arteries. And that was really the, the big unknown. Vera was born with Turner syndrome, a rare disorder that can cause multiple complications. Even today, I don't realize, think I realize how um, rare it was and how lucky I am to still be here. In Vera, Turner syndrome caused a major artery leaving her heart to go to the wrong place in her body. That artery needed to be rerouted. One of the uh, challenges that we had because of her unusual anatomy, we had to reroute the blood flow to uh, both of her arms. Doctors performed three separate surgeries, including one that required two surgical teams to operate on Vera at the same time. We actually intervened on eight different major blood vessels in her body, and every time we did that, there was always a risk of causing another uh, dissection and aneurysm. Vera is now recovering, and doctors are very satisfied with the outcome. Now, this is not about one doctor being really smart. This is about a bunch of people with separate skills coming together and figuring out what's right for a patient. Now, through these procedures, doctors hope to more completely understand Turner syndrome and treat it better in the future. A team of surgeons at Intermountain Medical Center have performed an extremely rare series of operations to save a young woman's life. Vera Davis has Turner syndrome, which often affects arteries in the heart. The operation to repair those arteries is usually very complex and takes hours to perform. In Vera's case, doctors decided to perform a new and different procedure. A multi-stage over several days where we do pieces of the operation in smaller in smaller portions and repair it that way. I just said the doctors will do the best they can and whatever happens, happens, and I'm very thankful for it. Vera 
had the procedure done just three weeks ago, and doctors are calling her fast recovery a, mer a medical miracle. It's the first time the surgery has ever been performed in the United States. A 28-year-old woman is alive today thanks to a team of doctors that performed a series of pioneering operations. The woman had an aortic aneurysm, but because of the location, a traditional approach of surgery would have cut off blood flow to the brain and arms. Three doctors from Intermountain Medical Center performed a series of complex surgeries that they say have never been done before here in the state. The uniqueness is uh, uh, combining the three procedures and three different steps to take care of a bigger problem. Doctors now say the patient can expect to have a long and healthy life. A team of surgeons at Intermountain Medical Center performed an extremely rare series of operations to save a young woman's life. Vera Davis has Turner syndrome, which often affects arteries in the heart. The operation to repair those arteries is usually very complex and takes hours to perform. In Vera's case, doctors decided to perform a new and different procedure. A multi-stage over several days where we do pieces of the operation in smaller, in smaller portions and repair it that way. I just said the doctors will do the best they can and whatever happens, happens and I'm very thankful for it. Vera had the procedure done just three weeks ago and doctors are calling her fast recovery a medical miracle. It's the first time the surgery has ever been performed in the United States.